much of a fuss and obviously I don't care to be in the water this time of year due to the fact that everything freezes. Get your feet wet, your laces on your boots freeze up and everything like that. Also there are issues with the creeks that do produce fish that naturally reproduce and what can happen is if you kick up the silt in the soil in the creek bed it can actually choke out the eggs. They're very sensitive things this time of year and in order to maintain that po healthy population of wild fish one needs to limit the time they spend in the water this time of year. It's very important. It's really interesting the fish are holding on the rocky edge right on the seam where it's dark to light. They're kind of darting in and out taking these bugs as they're going down the creek. And once in a while you'll be able to see a group of four or five of them and at other times you can't see them because they're dark fish on the dark edge. There, I just had a take. Missed that one. It's real important with these small flies to be really gentle with your hook sets, especially with the light tippets as well, in that You can break the fish off or pull the fly right out of their mouth. It's not too tough to do. Actually missing a lot of fish. They're just taking it so lightly and I do not have an indicator on so it's very difficult to discern whether it's a fish take or what's going on with it. Now the rod I'm using today is a moderate fast action. It's just a cheap blank that I got off of eBay. And I tied it up. And I actually tied this one for a winter rod in that I put oversized guides on it. It does add a bit of weight to the rod. However, I have yet to have to break any ice off my guides today. So that's pretty nice. Um, it's really doing the trick for me. And this thing casts very nicely as well. Albeit it is a tad bit heavy as compared to my other rods. For an 8 foot rod it weighs a little more than I would like it to. However, performance of this thing is very nice. Casts very well. Appears to be another little rainbow. And it looks like it took the Zebra Midge trailer. So that's good. It's getting on to be about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And the sun is shifting quite significantly. The clouds have burnt off. The fish are getting a little harder to see. However, they're still in there. Which is super. Come on, guy. Oh. And back she goes. Beat her on the bank a little bit. That'll wake her up. Now, as far as the presentation to these fish, since they're so active, I just am putting the fly up in the current, letting it drift down. My fly line is actually in front of my fly, as far as the drift is concerned. However, these fish don't seem to mind. I've got a willow green line on today and it is not spooking the fish which is a very positive thing. The long leader helps a little bit too because it separates the distance between that which the fish may see and the fly which has the intentions of hooking the fish in the lip. Ah, oh, these guys are just teasing me. They're just eating, eating, eating. And one of the important things about fishing with flies is line control. You want to have two hands on your fly line at all times. I like to hook my, f my handle line under my index finger and always have a hand on the slack that I have in my line. What this does is allows for a better hook set in that 
when you're fly fishing, you don't want to set the hook with the rod, you want to set it with the line. So you want to pull on it and lift it simultaneously in order to keep a nice steady pressure on. And it's very important when you're using light tippet, such as I am today, because if you don't have the right hook set, with your hands, you will end up breaking the line off very quickly. Oh boy, it's really starting to cool off already. Temperature is supposed to drop this afternoon. The high point of the day was supposed to end at approximately 2 o'clock. That's about what she's getting to be. That was a big dog. So that's two fish that I've missed in about the last two minutes. With any luck, I'll be able to land one here. They are now up on the rock pile, higher up in the water column. And you can see them over there. It's like a blue shadow on a black background. Every once in a while you can see their tail move just a little bit. There's one. Seems to be a fairly decent fish. Whoa, leaping right out of the water. That's so cool. Bank net ready here. Boom, fish off. That's the one that got away. That fish was really dodging and darting. And uh, she was able to throw the hook there. So you will have that. I believe that to be the same fish that I missed previously.